Hey, how's it going team? Brad Smith here with Automation Links. Just got done with an awesome coaching session uh, with our coaching clients going over relationships, relationship first. Uh, some of the things we went over was how to build relationships online, why you should use Google for people searching and buying things, and social media for building your brand, and uh, follow up, follow up by creating and helping them, answering their questions uh, through email, messenger, and even just through your posts and videos on social media. Some things I want you guys to really remember is you need to have videos welcoming them coming into your funnel. You need to follow up with them uh, through emails, Facebook Messenger, and also just being consistent on social media. And then last but not least is just continue helping instead of selling. So one thing that we talked about this last weekend uh, with one of our clients is, you know, people go to Google to go buy and find something. They're on Facebook just for social and networking. So that's why you need to think of your social media account as a relationship builder and your brand. So you're, now you're thinking about social media as building your brand as a helpful business out there helping people as much as you can. And that's gonna continue relationships. Another thing we touched on was uh, I have over 4,000 people in my Facebook group um, in person. Let's say I have five really close local friends and then let's say 20 networking friends in my local area. Now we all know how important it is to build relationships with people locally, meet them face to face, but you can double, triple, quadruple. There's really no limit when you start creating relationships with people online. So you're making relationships face to face, and then you're doing it online. Also, you could have up to 4,000, 10,000, a hundred thousand relationships and friends that follow you and still support you without ever having to meet them. And obviously if you ever get a chance to meet them, try to meet with them. If you're in their area, they're in your area, meet up with them, continue building that relationship. So that's the whole thing I try to teach and I try to coach in my coaching program. If you haven't heard anything about it, just comment coach in the comments and I'll send you some information about it. But that's what it is. How can I get through the camera, shake somebody's hand like I would face to face online? And that's how you can scale and really grow your business. Now, a lot of times I know our mentality is uh, word of mouth referrals face-to-face -face business uh, connections. That's where we're always gonna get the best uh, business, right? Right from the face-to-face -face interactions. But if you can get your mindset right, change your thinking about the internet and building real relationships with people online, that's when your business is gonna truly scale. Because what you're doing right now is you're doing those relationships face-to-face -face great. You're probably a pro and expert at it. That's where you get all your clients. But what you're missing out on is when you go to the, your social media, your emails, and your website, all you're trying to do is sell. Those are all your sales channels. Or you're looking at Facebook ads and all these ads that you can do to sell. Really, you should do less selling online because you haven't met that person face-to-face. -face. When you meet someone face-to-face, -face, you can sell all day long to them. You can send them the sales page, get them signed up right then and there. But on the internet, you've never met that person, so why would they just go buy from you right away? So I wanna encourage you guys to build those real relationships online before you start selling them because they might not be ready yet. They might have just found your post and see that you're helping them instead of selling them. That's when you're gonna get them into your funnel, email them, message them, help them with consistent social media branding, and that's when, when they're ready, when they can afford you, when they actually need your services, who are they gonna reach out to and who are they gonna hire? So thanks guys for watching, I appreciate it. Obviously, if you need any help or any questions, make sure you let me know and I'll be more than happy to talk to you soon. Hope you have a great day.